Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be looking at a program called uh, Bossless Scaling, and we're going to be using it to make the game uh, To the Moon when uh, widescreen. Uh, there are some videos out there on YouTube that show it in widescreen. I, however, was not able to get it to do that without uh, the program. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. Now, this program is good for uh, upscaling, uh, you know, games that are windowed. Uh, to stretch into full screen it's also known for generating frame rates which can actually make your frame rates uh run at a higher uh you know higher number i however have not uh kind of messed with that because i'm more towards uh, retro gaming uh when i do do that in the future i will uh, try and post a video on how that is done but for this one we're going to be focusing on a game called to the moon so if you have that game and you want to get it to look its best and get it to stretch full screen uh, obviously, you need the program uh, Lossless Scaling. This is available on Steam. Uh, so if you have that program, go ahead and launch that. And then we're going to get this to go. So basically, these are the settings that I did uh, to get it to uh, work, uh, you know, with the full screen on here. Now, the best settings that I found uh, is the uh, Anime 4K. I set that option on here. Scaling mode was set to auto. Aspect ratio was also chosen on here. Uh, I did kind of mess around with the settings here on size. It didn't seem to do much, you know, with, uh, between the options that it has. So I just left it there. Uh, this one kind of says it might actually uh, introduce uh, inconsistencies with the uh, scaling, uh, depending on what you're running. So I kind of left that one off. So frame generation I left off and then I'm going to scroll down here. So basically what you want to do is just match these settings that I have here. Rendering I left on vSync on. Everything else here is off. Now for me, this did not work properly unless I chose this API here. So I chose WGC. A double buffering is off. Then these are the rest of the settings here. So once you have that done, that's pretty much it. And now one thing I do recommend you do with this to make it easier for yourself when you're using it, you know, versus having uh, one game window running and then this running and then you hit scale. There's an option here if you go to settings and you can actually set a hot key to scale it. So I recommend, you know, you just change this to whatever you feel like. If you do uh, make a choice on here and it's already, you know, binded to the computer, it's going to tell you that that's already in use. So just kind of play around with it and find, you know, a combination there that is not used and you can apply it to this. I recommend you hit the start as administrator. Uh, everything else I left off on here. So once you have that set, the program is pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and launch uh, to the moon and we'll show you the differences here. So I'll just let it load, uh, you know, by its default. So I won't make any changes yet so you can see what it does here. So as you can see, it is, uh, you know, showing the game in a 4-3 uh, aspect ratio. So we'll just go ahead and load a spot where I'm at here. So that is the game loaded regular aspect. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply the uh, lossless scaling. So if it doesn't work for you for with the hotkeys, what you want to do is right after, just go ahead and hit Alt and Enter. And as you can see, the game went full screen. So this one's pretty easy to set up, and as you can see, uh, the effects on it were really nice. You do have the full screen and you have the added benefit of the uh, filter running in the background. So it looks way better uh, than it did. One thing I like to do, like if you go out of here and you go to the menu, you can see the, uh, even on the cursor, you can see how smooth the, uh, the cursor looks with that filter applied. So even on here, you can see how smooth everything looks. Characters, the graphics up here. So this is a big improvement. If you wanted to play this widescreen, this is probably the best way to do it. Now on my screen, it is shifted a little bit to the right. You can see that yellow bar on the left. So I guess that's all going to depend on the, uh, you know, on the computer that you have. 
but that is definitely a better way to play it if you do want to go full screen with the uh, uh the to the move game so hopefully that'll guys will help you out if you wanted to give that a shot uh, if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so and we will catch you guys on the next video have a great day